everyone, Jayman here and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download the Epic Games Launcher for free on Windows. Now, I know it's very easy to get the Epic Games Launcher. However, there's many beginners out there that don't know from where exactly they can download it. So I'm making this video just as a quick guide to show you how. The first thing you want to do is open up your web browser and then you want to click on the first link in the description and that should take you to the Epic Games official website. Now when you're on here you want to click on the download button that says download Epic Games Launcher. And as you can see the installer for Epic Games will now automatically begin downloading and you just want to left click on the installer. Now the Epic Games setup is going to launch and when you're on here you just want to go ahead and click on install. Epic Games Launcher is now automatically going to begin installing on your computer. This is only going to take less than a minute, so just be patient for it to finish installing. And as soon as the launcher finishes installing, it's going to begin downloading updates. Now, how long this takes depends on your internet speed. So just be patient and you can come back to this video when the updating has completed. And once the Epic Games client has finished updating, they're going to ask you to log in using your Epic account. Now, if you already have an Epic account, then you can log in using one of these options over here. However, just for this video, I'm going to be creating a new account just to show you how you can do it. And to create an account, you just want to scroll down until you see the sign up link. And you just want to select sign up. On the next screen, they're going to ask you how you want to sign up. Now you can just choose whichever way is easiest for you. So you can sign up using Facebook, Google, Xbox, PlayStation, etc. I'm going to be signing up using my email address. And in the next screen, they're going to ask you to put in some of your personal details. So you're going to have to put in your country, your name, they're also going to ask you to select a display name and this is basically going to be your user tag so you can just choose whichever username you want. They're going to ask you to put in your email address as well as your password. Down here you want to select I have read and agree to the terms of service and then you can go ahead and click on continue. Next up, they're going to send a verification code to your email address. So I'm just going to quickly open up the email that I signed up with. And as you can see here, I have an email from Epic Games where they sent me the verification code. So I'm just going to copy paste that verification code into the Epic Games client. And then select verify email. And as you can see guys, the Epic Games Launcher is now fully installed onto your PC. And in the store tab, you can see a list of games which you can either buy or download for free. The Epic Games Launcher has been adding a lot of new games, although it's not as reliable as Steam. It does have a lot of exclusive titles which you can only download using the Epic Games Launcher. And if you're into PC gaming, then I would really recommend having it installed. Okay guys, and that's the the end of today's video if you found the video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe as well for more content like this if you had any problems at all during any stage of the tutorial leave a comment down below and i'll try my best to get back to you this is jayman and i'll see you all in the next video